Yellow friends. This is a little random, but I decided to share with you something. I don't play Sims at all. But some time ago, as I was filming a story in a gorgeous house, I got sudden urge to play. And it didn't last just one day like always. My family actually had a story that I want to share. This is not a let's play, it's just me putting the events in a visually pleasing format. I tried my best not to make this boring, it's eventful and hopefully entertaining. I use Max as much CC, lots are always in the description, about everything else feel free to ask me. So here we go, we'll see how it goes, hope you like it. Wow, this is me reporting straight out of washing machine. Okay, okay. meet my sim Jude. He lives in a small apartment in San Mishuno on Chic Street. We can barely afford it. The only income we have is from Jude's paintings that he sells. He's a decent cook. He's familiar with musical instruments. He can dance. And has a little bit of other skills. He is super chill, easygoing, friendly young guy. On the downside, he has zero friends. I mean, sure he has acquaintances like old neighbors and random sims, but no actual friends or love interests. So we're starting by meeting our neighbors. I had this vision for house parties where all my sims and their friends can gather together at the table outside, chat, dance, drink, play, have a good time, and it's definitely on my list. Spiced up with some drama. But this apartment is very limiting when it comes to forming neighborly relations, but it's whatever. Jude and his new friends are having good time with some pizza. Meet Erin. Toby and Isaac. Erin and Toby are great friends already. Moreover, they are very similar in personality. Toby is a loud jokester and Erin is chatty and silly. No wonder our boy Jude bonded with Isaac. So much so that Isaac asked Jude to join him later for a little night out. Jude was excited but actually we had job to finish because you know, rent. So after our guests left, our guy rushed to his easel and canvases. Luckily, he finished before he was late, which meant he got to go out. We had a little fun dressing him for the night, and then it was time to leave and meet Isaac. Isaac invited us to a Blue Velvet nightclub in Willow Creek, but nah, -uh, it's not the one we all know. It's a fantastic remade I found by one of the Sims custom creators. It's amazing. Places like this one makes the game actually playable. Look at that. So this is where Jude's hoping to meet new friends and possibly some romantic partners. Look at him, he's excited about all the cool scenes he can get close with. Isaac offers to start with drinks, so we're heading to the bar. And then, wait a second, someone catches Jude's eyes. It's Elena, that's all we know. It's kinda early to googly eye girls, so to the bar we go! Lots of sims gathered here to watch bartender perform cool tricks. Her name is Isla Teal. I like her. It's like she's making you drunk in every sense if you know what I mean. Jude and Isaac got drinks and started chatting with everybody in the bar including Isla. Sometimes I see Jude staring to the side where we saw Elena but I don't get it. It's like Friday night smoke, sambuca, spicy tequila and sweat. Not a mediocre trip to frozen yogurt shop after Sunday church service. What do you think? Tell me in the comments. But for now I'm playing God here, so I make Juke get flirty with hot bartender Isla to distract him. And it works. You can't see it, but he's getting all pinky in his moodlet section. <laughs> Soon Isla leaves the bar and invites us to the discotheque outside. It's already packed, drunk scenes are getting wild. And I sit on my chair kinda jealous of the fun they're having. Isaac especially having too much of a good time. Jude tries to stay close to Isla. There's a little competition going on, but I'm sure she prefers Jude over other boys. Look at him, he kinda look like Prince. And I'm not wrong, Isla's doing the whole hard eyes, motherfucker. And hinting on, you know. Are you ready for the old in and out? Jude invites her over to his place, of course. She agrees, so we're leaving. And then again, in now empty hall, Jude stares at Elena who now plays the piano for just two male sims. Boring! Now, Jude and Isla got home. And I had an idea of making drinks and getting some music, but our boy has neither bar or stereo. Shame. But Isla doesn't seem to have high standards for one night stands, so she doesn't mind going straight to dirty town. They move to the bedroom and you know what happened next. 
the hell you do? Okay, don't make that face. My finger slipped. She woke up early in the morning, stole the painting, and left. Jude woke up much later, hangover, but happy. He didn't want to do nothing, but I forced him to shower and to paint because again, rent. Another thing is that he has to actually find a job because I want to get a different apartment for him. He was whatever, doing his thing, being busy, talked to Isaac on the phone a couple of times, doing laundry, etc. Not once he thought about Isla or even Elena, but I was dying of curiosity. Where is she? Where is my Mari from Euphoria moment? Soon we got another invitation from Isaac to join him for coffee in the afternoon, so I dressed our boy up again and sent him to have fun. Isaac brought his other friend Louis, which is always great, the more the better, and guess who he stumbled across at the coffee shop? No other than Isla, in the arms of some dude, who, I assume, is her husband. Here they are, happy next to each other, here's the baby bump, here's absolutely struck down Jude. Okay, I'm gonna finish it here, let me know if you want more, if not, I'll, I'll, I'll just continue to play by myself. Comment what you think will happen next, should we try to get with Isla, do we want some Elena and Jude's life, who do you like more? Follow me on Instagram, I'll post a couple of arts with these guys. Okay, thank you so so much for watching, I'll see you soon, bye bye. I love you.